Good morning, Good everyone. Good morning, guys. So we're leaving Toowoomba and we're going to head off um, 150 kilometres along the way to a place called Warra. Warra. Yeah. yeah. Also, we've just um, been to a public weigh bridge, so it does all your axles and weights and, and combined weights and all that. Um, we won't let you know if we're over or under. We just have to watch that separate video yeah. to see if we were under or over because I tell you what, I don't know. God, yeah. So, um, anyhow, let's make our way to Warra. Let's go. So, what's the matter? Can you hear that noise? What the hell's buzzing? What's There's, that? Nothing. There's nothing to buzz in the back of there. Have you left the water pump on or something? The water pump doesn't make, no, the water pump's different noise and it doesn't come from the back. Jesus. What the hell's that? Oops. This coming from up here. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh my god. Gee, he's lucky it was only that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, this is a shaver too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too How funny. That turn on? Well, that was Bumpy Roads at the... Dolby. Oh, Dolby was shock. Oh, oh my god. Shocking. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god. Have you been busy in the Woolworths or the Coles, the Coles cake Coles, shop again? Yes, Coles. You told me you made them up from scratch. Okay, looks nice. Let's get stuck into it. We've got the Warra sign. There we go. Here we go. All right. So we're in Warra for the night. And Warra is an RV friendly town. So we are in the Warra RV rest stop in Talbot Street. Yep. So it's basically right on the highway though. So... Um, yeah, it's a, noisy, a little bit okay. noisy. It'll, it'll quiet down tonight. Yeah. Anyhow, in this rest stop, there's a lot of historical um, buildings. So we're going to have a look oh, at those. Oh, look at the old Petrobouser over there. Oh. That's all right. My mind's a goldfish. It's all right. <laughs> I turn around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's have a look at these buildings. I've got my information. Oh, so I can tell you all about it. My chair. Hang on. Shut up. It's very, very interesting in this little town. So let's have a look around Warra. That's right. Grab a chair. <laughs> cup of coffee. Cup of beers. Well, I wasn't. I was being nice. <laughs> Here's this um, petrol bowser that John just, you know, the goldfish. It's on the goldfish. A diesel would fill our car up. There's a little plaque on that. This bowser stands on the original site of Web & Co. I love old bowsers. Okay, right. First up is the Warra Historic Railway Line. Now I'm not sure, I, th I thought I read that this had been um, moved here. But maybe this was the original. Well, railway line's just over there, so maybe they've moved it. Yeah, maybe they've moved it. Maybe they've moved it, yeah. Alright, I just read that this was relocated to this park. And back in the day, it was, well, back in 1877 when this was designed and built, it was described as unduly lavish for a railway line or well, railway station. Nah, uh, not that time. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught John on a swing. I haven't seen that in years. Piped out now. And this, this RV park is also called the Richard Best Memorial Park. Look what I found, Johnny. A windmill. We all know how much I like windmills. It's called the Homebush Windmill. And I have no information on this. What? I know, right? Oh, an old tractor. Oh, there's an old tractor. Hey. Oh, Southern Cross. Get a photo of that one. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon and we've noticed like this little RV stop isn't huge. So um, you really need to get to places like this before lunch, I reckon. Because there's, there's, I don't even know if there's any positions left, John. Oh, you can, yeah, there's a couple you can squeeze into. You reckon? Yeah. It does. Now look at this um, tractor over here. Yeah, I've seen that. Look at the spikes on the back wheel. Is it, oh, it is spiky. You need to set those for the Glasshouse Mountain when you go for a in it. 
Oh, there's an information board there, John. Would you like to read it to us so we can... Oh, you all you're know like how much I like to read. I know, right? This tractor and the land it stands on was donated by Arthur Squire. Is that all it says? That's it. Ah. So, John, a bit of information. Oh, it's that twig got me. A bit of information about this log. Yeah, it keeps wandering. Every time the flood comes through, it just goes, and then they have to come and go and find and bring it back. The Welcome to Warra log has been secured in its place in Warra Park because it needed to be. It wandered away on the 27th of December 2010 and was rescued by two enterprising local lads in a tinny. That'd be freaking heavy. Then on the 30th of December 2010, as the floodwaters surged in the Condamine River, this log was once again on the move. They just pick it up and put it on their shoulders? It's movements up and down the Coranga Creek, which I think is over there. Yeah, it goes through there. Were noticed and reported. It seemed lost until when the waters receded, the log was found grounded in front of the Warra QCWA fence. The Welcome to Warra log symbolises Warra's humour, pride and rebounding spirit no matter the odds. That's pretty cool, story. Yeah. John's goldfish has come back. What little flower are these things put out? I didn't know that. That's a different succulent, John. The same. There's, there's two succulents. No, it's the same. No, there's not. It's the same. Trust it's me. It's different. No, it's the same. Katrin, I know you're watching this. Tell John that they're two different succulents. I beg to differ. You tell our same. friend Katrin same. that you reckon same. it's the same. It's not same. the same. They're same. different. Okay, get back to the story, John. This is the Haystack School over here. Same. Shush. Let's go look. Information. Got a chair around you it was restored. Shut up. This schoolhouse was utilised between 1910 and 1968. That was a good year. 1968. That yeah. was the best, best year. year ever. It was restored in 2006 as a tribute to the many small one-teacher schools in the district. Now, I did read somewhere. Discover what school room looked like in the early 20th century when all the classes were in one room with one teacher. But you can't even see in the window. No? No. So we, we can't look. Hey. And here is the Warra Hotel. Look. There. How pretty is that? Oh, imagine me up, sitting up there, like in the 19, I don't know, 1800s, whenever it was, and there was a gunfight happening out here. It'd be pretty cool. At 12 noon. <laughs> That's when that happened, Cowboys. 12 noon. All right. Originally established by Richard Best, in 1876. Oh, you need to zoom in that old caravan over there. Look at that old caravan. What <laughs> is that goldfish old, again? Old little caravan. Okay, we'll show them the caravan okay. in a minute. Okay. 1876. The hotel was built into the two story building evident today in 1901 by Theo and Eliza Burgart. This grand hotel is a classic example of architecture commonly known as the Queenslander. True country hospitality and authentic experience await for you here. However, there's no pub meals at this place and they sell meat pies and we've been told they're just frozen pies, so. Yeah, we've got to run for lunch, but yeah. lady that's been coming here for 10 years said, no, don't bother. All right, this is the Memorial Hall. So quickly before traffic, the community of Warra wanted to build a hall in honour of local men and women who served our country. After 10 years of fundraising and with the help of skilled locals using only hand tools and applying the resourceful secret nail method of laying the dance floor, the Warra Memorial Hall was officially opened on Saturday, May 5th, 1956. It is home to the Warra Remembers exhibit. Okay, this war memorial, which is in front of the Memorial Hall, opened in 1956. The hall stands to remind future generations of the sacrifice of service men and service women. What's this thing? To um, the plaque when they turn the water on in the town. And when was that? Does it have a date? The plaque commemorates the turning of on a water to Warra. It says 17th of September 1960, John. Where? 
right there. Oh, well, that's around the corner. I can't read the ones around the corner. Like it's... See, my goldfish brain found something else. I wonder what that is. It. It's an interesting sort of thing, isn't you know it? What? If somebody in the, can put in the comments of a good psychiatrist or counsellor or someone for me, <laughs> because, you know... I'm... Oh, stop it. Okay. Warren Memorial Hall. This is basically what I... It's just an extension of what I said about how the community wanted a hall. Alright, John. We're walking down yeah. to yeah. the All Saints... Oh, what are you doing? I know. We're walking maybe, down... Maybe I'm drunk, I don't know. <laughs> to the All Saints... Well, Anglican does look, well, Church. Does look fat, but it? listen, you've got to listen to me for a minute because it's in, important and maybe your goldfish brain might pick up on this. Councillors in the comments. This building was dedicated on the 26th of February. Oh, oh my gosh. What? Really? really? That was a good year, month, date. Well, it's not the year, it's the date that's. Um, 26th of February 1907. Oh, I'm not that old, Jesus Christ. I feel that old though sometimes. Many locals and visitors have worshipped in this beautiful country church. Services are held during Easter, at Christmas time, and on special occasions such as weddings, funerals, and baptisms. So there's the back of the church. It's across from the Warra School. I'm actually surprised Warra's got a school, John. I, I was about to say, probably only like five people go to church. Well, it's only opened on on those occasions. That's what I just told everyone. John. I was listening. You weren't. I, was, I always listen. But look, a, a, a school. You just want to think it's there'd a big be school, actually. You wouldn't think there'd be enough kids. But hang on, have a look at the front of this church. How cute is this church? All Saints Anglican Anglican Church. That is so I cute. All called that. All Saints. No, John. No. And there's another wheel. I'll say that's a rectory, John. What's a rectory? Is that where it is? The, yeah, where the minister used to reside. Reside? That was a good word for me, wasn't oh, it? Was, especially this time of the afternoon. I know, right? What's that big thing sticking up there? It looks like a chicken on the top of it. Where are you look, looking? On the post. See the post, that red post going up there? That's a bell, John. Let's go in and have a look. In the churchyard, but it's closed. Well, That's a shame. You're allowed to come in. You're going to get us into trouble again. We can go in. It's a churchyard. Of course, we can go in. Yeah, but yeah. there's a bell. That's a bell. It's a church bell. It looks like it's not in service anymore. Say that again. Nothing. I didn't say anything. I said I would sell her on the black market if I could, but you now she's 55, she's past the use by day. It was my birthday two days ago. Was and didn't I spoil you rotten like I always do? You bought me some Took bloody... you out for dinner, lunch. Okay. Bought Let's you some Pandora, in... nice gold chain. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I got a, a, two pairs of sand shoes or joggers. Walking hey, that was shoes. Like... Whatever you want to call them. Hey. And you need. we went to Betty Burgers for lunch, the two of us. Yeah. Did, and I just, I, did I just say all that? No, and I got no Pandora, and I got no perfume. But do you know what? I what? like my stories better than your <laughs> stories. <laughs> All right, we're on the lookout. Well, there's for... a plaque here or something. Yeah, we're 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 walking towards what we think. It's like there's all timber underneath it. Is Leichhardt's lookout? But John, you need to be in the picture, darling. I'm in the picture. I'll be credited. All so right. Look. We're looking for Leichhardt's, not Leichhardt's Lookout, Leichhardt's Memorial. Leichhardt's Memorial. John thinks it's this. All right, Let's it is. Look at that. Let's take a photo. Hang on. I'll take it. Oh, that bloody light. All gorgeous. right, let's let's just talk about Leichhardt's Memorial so everyone knows what it all is. Within walking distance of the park along the Karenga Creek towards Warris State School is the monument, monument to Ludwig Leichhardt. And his party, who camped near the creek on the 4th of October, 1844. The actual campsite location, as noted in Leichhardt's diary, is on the opposite bank of the creek. Oh, over there. Yeah. These pots broken. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, I'll just tell you a little bit more, John. Lutwig made his way through Warra en route from Moreton Bay to Port Essington. An epic trip which took more than 12 months to complete. There you go. Someone, someone's broken the pot. I can't I believe someone's broken the pot. But that's pretty cool how they've got that done, haven't yeah. isn't it? It's all um rocks, but it looks like timber. Oh, it is too. Yeah. All right. All right, it's the next day. So we're going to show you a bell tower and something about the mines out here. So let's go over to the bell tower. All right, John. Yeah. That's the best I can do. I got some information and we'll try to dodge the trucks. It says just across from Karinga Creek from the park is the site where St. Francis Xavier Catholic Church once stood. A commemorative bell tower is now in its place with the original bell and crosses from the little church that was destroyed during a storm in 1980. So that's, that's all it is. That's it? Yeah, that's what we came over here for. Did I have anything Can written on there? Well, we've got to go over to that bit yet, John. I didn't have anything written here. That's all the information I got this bell. So apparently there's little, what did it say? So we go up like that. You can't even ring the bell. Can't ring the bell. So there's the original, that, oh, so that's the, the original bell though. There's a chain. So they're the crosses. That cross there. And that one up there. They're the original crosses and the original bell from the, the church. Me being so tall, I could probably ring that bell, being five, six foot nine. You could, possibly, but we won't go there. So I this believe is this is the Warren mine site. I'll let John walk through first, because if any snakes are there, they'll disappear. I don't know what. It looks like it spins around and follows the sun. It's on like a turntable by the look of it, I think. I don't know. It is, isn't it? I don't know what it is. There's not even no plaque or anything saying. Oh, you probably have to read that. Maybe on that information there. board. It's no, down there. People walk around it. Right, here's the uh, Wara mine site information board, something like that. So, Wara was the site of the first state owned and operated coal mine in Queensland. The Smokeless Coal Syndicate commenced mining at Wara in 1914 but sold the venture to the state government in 1915. The mine was closed in 1919. What are you doing, doofus? A silhouette structure marks the old mine shaft today. There is an information board nearby in Kerr's Road. So it's a silhouette structure, maybe, that's marking the mine? I don't know. Let me see if I wrote anything else. No. That's all. That's all? Oh, that bell tower was from the Catholic Church. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But yeah, there's this, this information board and like, you know, goldfish here, he won't be able to read it all. Well, yeah. So much. I'll have a quick read. If there's anything interesting, I'll tell things. you. Right yeah, it's, there's a lot. I'll show you the board. That's only one side of it. That'd take me Mother Sunday to read. I know, there's a lot there. There's a lot to read there. There's the pub, John. Oh, yeah. Look. You know, I didn't read it. I just didn't see any photo of it. I'm not but do you remember how you said in the old days how cool it would have been to sit oh, on the thing at the pub? Imagine sitting up here and there's a gunfight happening down here. <laughs> that would be I don't know if we had gunfights in Australia like that, John. Okay, that's hey. it for Warra. Warra. Warra, that was nice. This place filled up. Fast. But not yet, toilets are clean. 
Um, the road noise was a bit noisy, but it wasn't that bad. Um, There's us with our car going in the background. Yeah, 4G reception. Um, and there's dogs across the road that yap a little bit. But apart from that, fantastic. Good stop, I'll stop you again. <laughs> and um, when I, we walked you around, I said that Haystack School Building you couldn't see inside. I had another little walk today, and if you go to the other side of the school building, you can see inside. So, but yeah, this is great. There's no dump point here. No, that's the only thing, no. But there is some and water you can get 4G to. 4G reception. Okay, yeah. hey, alright, on to our next stop. Let's go. Okay, thanks for watching.